which, like losing a loved one, is bottled up within me and has nowhere to go. Trapped within my soul is where it lies. I feel as if my heart has been ripped out of my chest and shattered like tempered glass. I have no words but merely tears rolling down my cheeks. To this very day, when her name is mentioned, my throat tightens and I fumble for words. That shattered brokenness happens as a result of losing my godmother. The accident was a little over a year ago. Everything is as hard today and difficult as it was the day after she passed. She was both my godmother and my aunt, but more importantly, her ways and advice she so frequently gave me could lead me through any hardship. Jill taught me three crucial values in life. She taught me to live like I'll die tomorrow, never hesitate to be outgoing and brave. Next, she taught me to love a person from the bottom of my heart because love doesn't exist if it's only half there. Lastly, she taught me to be the leader, not the follower or the bystander, but the one who makes the difference, the one everyone talks about and wants to be. Take a chance and shoot for your dreams is what she always told me. Bravery plays a sub substantial role in this value. I never really knew what bravery was until I saw Joe with her horses. Whether it was riding a trusty horse or breaking a wild one, bravery stuck by her side. She was my hero every time she jumped up into that saddle. My turn came to prove myself when Joe went out and bought me a pony and taught me to ride. The only reason I had the courage to ride was because I wanted to be just like her. She was brave, she never hesitated, and she was always outgoing. You need nothing in life but love is another quote Joe often referred to. I had never seen a greater relationship than the love between Joe and her husband, Jeff. When they looked at each other, everyone else seemed to disappear. My aunt and uncle weren't afraid to hold hands in public, kiss goodbye, or say I love you. Jeff and Jill had two daughters to complete their family. When you saw them together, you instantly knew it was meant to be. The love wasn't only half there, it was fully and completely in sight. In my future, I hope I'll find a love as great as the love that existed between the two of them. You never hear of the follower being the hero. In the end, it was always the leader. It is yet another quote my dearly missed aunt and godmother often used. Joe was never one to let something important pass her by in life. She stood up for what she believed in and fought for what she loved. She reminded me that being outspoken isn't always a bad thing, nor is speaking your mind of important opinions. Joe stood up for the innocent and the weak. Through her shining personality, she always managed to make a difference in everything she did. She never went unnoticed. After her death, everyone talked about all her great deeds and everything she was that they wished they could have been. Because of Jill, I know how to be a leader. When the time comes, I hope that I will one day be able to show someone everything my inspirational aunt taught me. I will wait eagerly to share her wisdom out loud. As I think about her now, my throat gets tight and I fumble for words. Only for Jill, I trust my hardest, try my hardest to live out loud, love to the fullest, and make a difference.